Hey everybody, Arco here. Welcome to the winner's bracket, uh, winner's bracket finals of the Risk Sudden Death Season 2 1v1 tournament. And our opponent for this series is none other than Zeraki. Alright, we go second off the gate. Blizzards don't really do anything. And then the portals make it tougher for that bottom spot to hold. There he goes there first. We'll use this chance to take this territory while we can. take a spot of this so the map order is pretty much the same but with some slight uh, tweaks to it uh, this first map is now dicey trajectories with stable portals and then it's Brazil caps USA world Dom um, France caps and then Madal with stable portals with a castle caps tiebreaker if needed Zeraki has also not lost a series so far in this knockout stage, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, I think we'll take this spot while we can. He might go there, force us to go here. Yeah, now we'll take. I think this spot is slightly better out of these three. And he goes there. It's fair enough. And we'll go here. Let's go in the middle. We'll take this spot here. We do have to take one of those spots up there. Just so he doesn't control that whole upper left corner.
is take the bottom. that spot see if that comes back to bite us or not Go ah, in the center, okay. Hmm. I'm going to have to connect myself one way or the other here. Probably in the top right is the least offensive at the moment. try over here.
So possible prediction stacks. It's a 50-50 on the left. Of whether he stacks in uh, uh, distortion field or time dilation to predict the top. Or Andromeda Pass to predict the bottom. And now we can force portals. I think taking this one is a given for our situation. the top I think we'll go here and then place our stack in the middle and if he guesses it correctly then well played Goes down there. He's gonna go for that bonus hold now. Okay, okay. Decent counter. Rely on some manuals here. It's gonna make it two tens. Seven on nine. Ah, both rolled sixes. He came prepared. Ah, he came prepared, damn it. Uh, let's see. We can do this. Do that. Took over a lot of the board, but I think we still we still lose here since we did not win the seven on nine.
takes that bonus. Yeah, either way, I'm going to have to get lucky here. So let's see if we do. Ah, roll the six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seventeen. He's on, anyways. So I, in hindsight, I didn't need to do that. Well, let's move that back to the portal. So we're still in it here. Because we won the seven on five, we're still in it. It is going to be tough. So he's on 19. Twenty, twenty-one. So we have to hit him four times. Go greedy and go for the two. Nah. Ones. Did not get good dice on the two. So he gets six now. Probably should have just played it safe with hitting the ones here. On 20, 21. He's getting bad dice now, though. That's good. Didn't take over a bonus. Uh, no trade for us, but that's fine because we're going second. there. Then we'll leave this three here because he has to open has to break our bonus anyways. So he's back down to five. We have the set if he sets. That's good. Plus two up there. Okay.
So that's 16. Let's see if we're able to keep that plus two up there. Now he had a plus two on that bottom left corner. That's a bit rough. Wow. He just lost two on a one in balance blitz. Oh my god, we might hold the bonus because of that. He's out of time. He didn't get it. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Bad dice on the three, but that should be fine. Four. We don't have the set. Wow, that minus two on the one. <laughs> Crazy. It does break both, but we are on 21 territories. So we lose none on the two. And that's the game. All right, that's two points. Holy crap. A slight misplay by me in the middle there by hit going for his two instead of hitting the ones with that seven. I think that put me behind a bit by risking that. If, of course, if I had lost nothing on the two, then it would have been good. But because I lost two on the two, that did put me behind. But then when he went for the six v three ones, he lost two on that first one, which is extremely rare in balance blitz. So I definitely got lucky there, starting it off 2-0, going into game number two. All right, game number two. Feeling pretty good after that lucky uh, series of events here. But now we get to play Brazil Caps again, flipping A. But we are going first with a pretty bullshit bonus. <laughs> so we will... Uh... Huh. Hang on a minute here. Do we take this one point hold? Yeah, I think we have to. That forces Zeriki to go there. Unless he wants to give the bonus. Let's 
considering going here, I bet, to try and block me from the rest of the map. Yeah, that is what he's going to do. All right. <laughs> We're gambling. Uh, we are gambling. We're taking the bonus, of course. Now he's going to cap there. And now it's going to come down to a matter of rolling. Very interesting situation here. I can see what he's going for, because if he took this territory to block me from the bonus, then I just take this territory next. And then he's either forced to cap behind me, or just let me roll is whatever he lets gives there. Which both situations would not be good for him. So I, weirdly enough, I think this is his best shot at winning. So kudos if this works out for him. So I put, I still put the majority of my stack in the bonus, and then I have to create an exterior in the top left. So how much do we trust down here? 22. Make the rest up here. So we get our card. this a 28 and then an 11. I'll fortify here just in case he goes for the cap roll turn one.
Not going for the early cap hits. The purpose of this exterior stack is to try and remain in this top half of the map as long as possible. Because if I'm eventually killed out of the top half, I'm going to be forced to cap roll him. So we want to try and delay that as long as possible. And generate as much bonus troops off of this plus three as we can. Now we force it to where if he wants to break these bonuses, he has to go either risk an 8 on 5, and if that loses, he has to close one of the lines on his cap, or go around and further separate my 11. Okay, he is doing that. Got a wild card. It's always important to keep our cap strong. Because later on down the road, for when he's trying to trade and or knock out all our stuff, we got to try and keep it strong so that we have a good cap roll on him.
Nice. Now he has to come off cap in order to break that. Hundred <laughs> percent. All right. I was thinking in the moment that if I add some exterior, use my eleven to break and everything, if he has a set on three to clear me out, then that reduces my chances of winning the cap roll a lot. If he did indeed have a set on three. So with the eleven double tap with the sixty stack, I was hoping to knock a few off to make it a ninety-five or higher, but I got really good dice on the manuals. So that indeed got it to a hundred percent. Alright, wild card coming in clutch. Up uh three to zero now after game two. Going into game number three. Alright, on to game number three. Playing USA World Dumb. Uh, we've both gone first once, so still no turn order restart rules coming into effect here. And we got Zeriki going first, and there's multiple one-point holds. This blizzard makes this plus three pocket a one-point hold. And then this blizzard here in southwest makes this area for that plus two a one-point hold. Okay. So. He gets really broken blizzards right back on me. So it's, uh, quote unquote fair. <laughs> okay. Not sure how I'm gonna play this one. I think I have to go there. Yeah, and he just picks that spot. This one is definitely going to be a, uh, a guess and praise type situation. go over here while we can.
this is <laughs> not a good spot. Like the more I look at this, the more I'm thinking it's likely just going to come down to uh, a singular stack hit and hope that he gets bad dice. to go there. I have to take that spot. Gonna hope he goes for the left prediction. And then just gamble over here. Ah, shit. Last 14. Fair enough. That's a three in there. that as well. Alright, gonna need some BS dice. Uh, some really BS dice. Give me a two for oh here. Nah. It's probably game. That's game. 
I needed the two furrow to work, and then the uh, one one perfect five v two, and then four v one one one, and I needed all that to work to have a chance still. But yeah, well played, Zerky. to say GG in time. Yeah. So maybe I should have gone on the left and then <laughs> rely did a little bonus dance potentially. But yeah. Gets the right predict so that he wins going first. So he's up or yeah, he got one point, so I'm up three to one going into game number four. Alright, game number four. We got France Caps coming up. So Zeriki went first twice. He can still go first one more time, I believe. But this time we go first. Uh, what do these blizzards do? They make a two-point hold on that bonus, interestingly enough. Which could be interesting. Take the other side so he doesn't get any ideas. I think we split between 
bottom left and the top right. And then we'll just figure out what we're doing based on where he deploys his troops. Where does he go? Curious how he'll try and counter this. I'm guessing he's going to expect I'm going for that plus four two point hold. Interesting. I think we go in the center. Because we have roll threats on a lot of his stuff. Depending on where he caps. there all right well we'll just take that then and then head on to our other cap He's got to get good dice back. Lost a troop on the ones already. That's good. Okay. This is still decent dice for me overall. Oh, he probably blisses this now. Oh, he's looking for another... Nice. Gets the crucial minus three. That's good. Ooh. And he has to win the two on one to break. He does get it. And can we just 100% roll this right back? Ooh, we lost 16. That's not good. That is very not good. So he has a chance now. 
if he gets this roll here. Has to win a five on three. He's got to get one more good manual roll in him. Because I don't think the blitz is good. Three on two. He gets the three on two. Wow. Holy shit. Go for the same thing. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. <laughs> Three on two. <laughs> Coming down to another one. Two on one. This should be game over. Because he won't have anything to defend with. Oh, man. That's the game. We had to set on three. I saw the check mark. I saw the check mark. All right. So that... <laughs> What a, a classic victory with our gambling strats. <laughs> so, that's a win going first, so we are up 4-1 to one going into the final game. Even if he goes second and wins, we win the series, which is awesome. But we'll see if he wants to play the final game in just a second. Alright, it appears that Zeriki does not want to play the last game. So that either way, that is a 4-1 to one victory for us after four so this will advance us to the grand finals in the sun and death season two 1v1 tournament very <laughs> getting very lucky overall across the series and more or less the whole tournament pretty much but all right that will be due to the other bracket having to catch up and other scheduling that'll probably be within at least two weeks until that series will be scheduled but either way, GG's again, Zerky, and GG's again, everybody. And until next time, take care, and cheers for stopping by.